Magicians can amaze people like no one else in our world. And one of them is Dynamo, who impressed one and all with his blockbuster show, Magician Impossible. So, be it his famous lean-back levitation or the fountain ice trick. Hello and welcome back to Facto Fusion. Today we're going to unlock the top secrets behind Dynamo's greatest magic tricks of all time. So, let's get started. At number 7, Fountain Ice Trick. Dynamo, the magician beyond magic, performed the trick in which he froze the complete water fountain by defying all the rules and laws of physics. You might even be wondering as to how come he was able to do that. The trick is very much a planned trick of Dynamo, as usual. To begin with, he touches the water and the water starts to freeze into ice. But that did not actually happen and here's the secret. There was already a layer of ice at the bottom of the fountain water, which was made to rise above by pulling the water downwards. Also, to amaze the audience more so, Dynamo even froze the fountain water source. Well, if you look closely, the ice flow is actually narrower than the stream of water, which makes it possible that the frozen stream of ice was already present and water was made to flow over it which was later stopped, that made it look like the stream of water was also frozen. At number 6, Phone in a Bottle Dynamo once performed a trick in which he takes an iPhone from a woman and in one quick moment turns it into a small phone. Then he takes a glass bottle from a man, puts that small phone in the bottle, and here comes the final part of the trick. He converts that small phone back into the original, bigger iPhone. Someone then calls the number to verify if it is indeed the same iPhone of that woman. So, how did Dynamo actually perform this trick? Well, here's the secret. Before this trick was performed, Dynamo had already taken the woman's iPhone, maybe during a previous trick or somewhere else, and gave her an identical copy of her iPhone. Then they started filming this trick, with the woman already holding a fake iPhone. So Dynamo takes her iPhone, with the audience thinking it's her real iPhone. With an impressive sleight of hand, he inserts the phone into his jacket using a gimmick called Gecko, which pulls the phone into his jacket using elastic bands. At the same time, he pulls out a smaller version of the phone from his left sleeve, which he had already prepared and then fits this small phone into the empty bottle given by the man, who is also a stooge. For the final part of the trick, the bottle you see now has been exchanged with the previous bottle. And it was during this camera cut when the bottle was exchanged by the third stooge in this trick. Now, this already prepared bottle has a black card which separates the replica of the small phone and the woman's original iPhone, which was taken before the trick. Here, the iPhone is hidden behind the card which blends with Dynamo's black t-shirt. If we pause here, you can see the outline perfectly. Now, to convert the small phone back to the original iPhone, Dynamo just rotates the bottle and shows the original iPhone with the small phone hidden behind the card. Here, you can also see Dynamo's thumb going down, which confirms that he rotates the bottle. At the same time, he makes that black card and small phone disappear using the gecko technique explained earlier. He finally returns the iPhone left in the bottle to that woman, and of course, it rings when her friend calls because it is, indeed, her original iPhone. At number 5, Walking on Water Come. Take a closer walk with me. You all must have seen Dynamo's famous video where he was seen walking on the water of the Thames River. But how did he do it? Well, the answer surely lies in the plexiglass. Plexiglass, when submerged into water, is almost hard to find, because the density of plexiglass is almost like water. Plexiglass are clearly supported by plexi tubes, and many magicians have tried the same variant in swimming pools and water lakes. No matter where it's performed, the answer surely and always is plexi tubes and plexiglass. At number 4, Shard Levitation Stunt Dynamo performed one of the greatest levitation acts ever performed by any other magician, of levitating 1,016 feet above the streets of London at the top of the Shard. But if we take a closer look at what actually happened while filming this trick, 
then it's not a magic trick, but a clear result of filming and photography. The set was already prepared to film this trick with cables attached to Dynamo, to pull him upwards and make the sense of levitation to the audience. Dynamo stood in a mysterious position, seeming to gather his supernatural powers. He was then lifted in the air using cables attached to him and finally making him to levitate in between the clouds. An obvious question that might strike your mind is that, where are the cables in this video? The video before being aired had went through complete color correction and editing, which hides the cables and gets them merged into the background. Here's the comparison of the actual image and the image after editing. The entire trick was shot from a helicopter hanging up in the air above Dynamo through various camera angles to avoid the cables appearing in the video. So this makes it clear that there is no more a magic to levitate in the air, but hats off to Dynamo who made it look real. At number 3, Twisting an iPhone Have you ever tried to twist your iPhone from its center? Obviously not, but Dynamo has done it in front of people on the streets. He took an iPhone and magically twisted it from its center to half screen and half back position. That's insane! But how did he do it? Well, here's the actual trick behind it. Dynamo took an exact half back cover of iPhone and placed it carefully holding over the screen. Now showing his audience the back of the iPhone at first, he covered the iPhone with both of his hands and instead of twisting it, he just rotated the iPhone entirely to the screen side with the half-back cover placed over it. So, want to impress someone like Dynamo? Watch this video till the end screen with a link to the video where you'll learn some easy to perform magic tricks to impress anyone you want, especially girls. At number 2, Lean Back Levitation we all remember the iconic Matrix scene which was quite incredible. Here you can see Dynamo, the famous magician who is performing this amazing trick with quite ease. He leans back slowly till his body becomes parallel to the surface. Then he raises his left leg in the air and then all of a sudden gets back up without any problem. Ever wondered how Dynamo performed this gravity-defying trick? Well here's the secret and it's all hidden in the specially designed shoe, which has a heel that locks into pegs on the floor. To support his full leg, the heel is connected to the steel-framed dual leg brace that locks out when he is just about parallel to the surface. This locking mechanism combined with the heel mechanism supports his body weight and shifts his center of gravity away from his upper body. This allows him to stay balanced while leaning backwards at an impossible angle. Once he feels him being supported and balanced by his right leg, he lets everyone know that he's suspended in midair and slowly lifts his left leg. The interesting part here is that when Dynamo lifts his leg straight out, it actually helps him balance by shifting his center of gravity even further towards his legs. In this trick, he also makes sure that his pants are long enough to prevent any exposure of the steel framework attached to his leg. After impressing the girls with this Matrix stunt, he slowly and steadily gets up. So finally, the number one trick on our list, Bus Levitation Trick. In this trick, Dynamo appears to be flying through the busy streets of London next to a double-decker bus. In this well-known trick, Dynamo stuns hundreds of spectators walking around as they watch him levitating with one of his arms holding onto the bus. So, how did Dynamo manage to pull off this amazing feat? The secret here is quite simple and obvious once you pause and notice how his right arm holding onto the bus never moves, not even vibrates or bends even slightly. This implies he uses a fake arm. And it isn't really his arm because his so-called right arm is actually a firm metal rod attached to the bus and disguised as an arm. While his real arm is hidden under his clothes, squeezed tightly against his body. To support his body, he even wears a harness which is connected to the metal rod and that is how he stays in the air. To make the illusion look even more convincing to the viewers, his legs and his left hand are free to move around easily. You can even notice the bump in his shirt that looks like an arm around his front. He intentionally wore this artistic shirt to hide the bump. It also explains why he uses a phone in his other arm and that is to move and divert the crowd's attention to his other hand. 
coming to the bus and the bus driver, that's not any random bus roaming around in London. Rather, the bus driver knows everything that is going on around, and Dynamo didn't just float up there. It was all pre-planned, with him first attached to the bus, and only then the ride through London started. Coming to the final scene, it was just a neat camera trick, which gives the illusion of Dynamo letting go off the bus and levitating gently to the ground. So guys, I hope you got the secrets behind some of Dynamo's greatest magic tricks. Which Dynamo trick did you like the most? And who is your favorite magician? Let us know in the comments below. Do like and share this video with your friends on social media. For more such amazing things, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And finally, thanks for watching.